Hi everybody, this is Maria Clark at Sweet Willow Designs and welcome to my studio. Today I have a project for you to make a custom jewelry display for necklaces and or earrings. I hope you enjoy this project, so let's go ahead and get started. The tools and materials that we'll use are some balsa wood shapes and an oval and a rectangle. The sizes are in the description below. A doll head knob. We'll use some craft paint and if you're going to use the decoupage you'll need some scrapbook paper in your choice some acrylic paint, a paintbrush, binder clip, pair of scissors, and some sandpaper and um, file, Mod Podge, and some kind of glue, a straf uh, strong craft glue or a wood glue. Use the 240 sand grit to uh, sand well the sides, the top and back of each piece, and then use a damp paper towel to wipe away the dust. Once you have your pieces cleaned, we'll go ahead and use some uh, craft paint. And this is really just inexpensive craft paint. Um, it's nothing special. And use a little bit of water so that you can thin this just slightly. And then you'll coat the front and back and sides of each piece well. You may need a couple of coats for this. The doll head has a little hole in it, so just use a little skewer so that you have a, an easy way to go ahead and paint this without getting your fingers in it. And once you have all three pieces, you'll set that aside to dry. You could just paint your pieces, but you can also use some scrapbook paper to do a decoupage effect, and that way you have lots of varieties into the type of paper that you'd like to use. So just choose a scrapbook paper and trace out your shapes and cut them out. And once you have them all cut out, we'll take the uh, Mod Podge and we'll start to coat one of the pieces uh, with, the, with the Mod Podge. You can see that I'm using a thin coat that's actually too thin. Uh, so go ahead and be pretty generous with the Mod Podge and place your, uh, your scrapbook paper down. Be sure that you're sealing the edges and that um, you're using your fingers to smooth out any of the bubbles that may form. And uh, once you have that smoothed out and the edges kind of um, tamped down a little bit, you'll go ahead and put a nice good coat of Mod Podge over the top of that and you'll do that with both pieces. Once they're well coated, you'll set those aside to dry. Now that we're back, um, the pieces are dry and you may find that you have a little bit of extra scrapbook paper, so go ahead and use a craft knife to cut those off. And once you've cut the extra off, you can just use your nail file to smooth out the edges. Now we're ready to start assembling. You'll notice that you've got your three pieces and they're all um, prepared. Um, you can change the angle by changing the placement of the doll head knob. So just uh, use your preference to place that. And use a little bit of the wood glue uh, to glue the knob down. And again, keep in mind the placement for the angle. And once you've got the knob placed, go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the top and then at the bottom of your piece and place those that oval on the rectangle and get those placed uh, the way you'd like to see them. And then I use a little binder clip to um, make sure that the oval doesn't slip down. So I'll just place that binder clip and I will set the whole piece aside to dry. Well, everything's dry and this is what the final piece looks like. I think it's really cute. It's a little petite but you have an option, um, some options there. I also just use a little bit of tape to, to tape the back on. So as I was doing this piece, I noticed that um, I had nice stands for necklaces, but I didn't have anything for earrings. So I went ahead and adapted one of the stands for earrings, and I did that by simply drilling some holes. And you'll notice that I've got several different holes in a row, and that allows me to change the placement of the earrings so I can put them a little bit um, uh, asymmetrical from each other. The way I did, the, um, did the, the pattern was to take an oval and um, to just go ahead and use a drill to drill some shapes in. And I actually placed it at um, three quarters, one inch, and one and three quarters from the top. And the measurements are in the descriptions. And you can change the orientation of these any way you like. And then just go ahead and drill your holes. And once you've done that, you're able to prepare uh, the stand just the way we did it. And here's a completed stand. I think that looks really good. So um, I hope you enjoyed the project. Here's a gallery of other pieces that I made to just show you some variety. This is the project that we did, and you can see that stand. Here's some with a decoupage wood and just a uh, plain craft paint. 
and you can see that you have lots of options on how to put these together. So I really hope you enjoyed that project. Thanks for joining me in my studio. Until next time, take care.